2117. In the past few months, we've tested the new luxury imports from Japan, the Lexus LS400 and the Infiniti Q45. We found them to be able competitors. But the European luxury car builders aren't going to let the upstarts just take over. Anticipating the new entries from Japan, Jaguar has made a number of changes to their XJ6 line to make their cars more competitive and affordable. Part of this strategy is a new XJ6 model called the Sovereign. There are four versions of the XJ6 now, the XJ6, the Sovereign, the Vanden Pla, and the Vanden Pla Majestic. The price leader XJ6 starts at $39,700, but it's the $43,000 Sovereign that should attract the bulk of Jaguar customers. Regardless of trim levels, XJ6 models come with a larger engine this year. The four-valve per-cylinder inline six now measures four liters instead of 3.6, the displacement increase was accomplished by lengthening the stroke. The result is 12% more horsepower and 25% more torque. Ratings now stand at 223 and 278, respectively. Impressive numbers for an engine of this size. Usually, there is a price to be paid for increased power, a loss in fuel economy. But the Sovereign is EPA rated at 17 City, 22 Highway. The city number is unchanged from last year and the highway mileage is down by only one mile per gallon. So, like the Lexus LS400, the Jaguar avoids the gas guzzler tax. And acceleration is impressive. Our Sovereign went from zero to 60 in 8.6 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 16.4 seconds at 88. For comparison, an Infiniti Q45 we tested recently was about a second quicker in the quarter mile and not quite a second quicker from not to 60. The Jag sedan also gets a new anti-lock brake system this year. A Tevis design replaces one from Bosch. If that distinction is lost on you, just remember that braking performance is improved. Our 90 Sovereign needed only 107 feet on average to stop from 60. That number is about 10 feet shorter than what we recorded for the 89 XJ6. We also noted less pulsating ABS feedback through the pedal in this car. Inside, there are also a number of changes and improvements. All XJ6s get an analog instrument cluster to replace the half-analog, half-digital setup. The change was inspired by request from Jaguar owners. Tall drivers will appreciate this switch, which enables them to push back the seat without first getting in the car. Adjustments are in abundance, but there's still no position memory function. The steering wheel telescopes, but you'll notice there's no airbag. Front seat passengers will have to put up with motorized seat belts instead. Other changes include a turn signal switch that's now actuated mechanically rather than electronically, and a revised and easier to use trip computer. Best of all, there's a new transmission. Now electronically controlled, it has sport and normal shift modes and smoother upshifts. While a small improvement, we have to mention that Jaguar now has a single key for all its locks. And the key can give you a great sense of power over the power windows and sunroof, both of which are standard on the Sovereign. There's one other revision we have to mention. The Jag sedan's ride has been softened somewhat. The change is sure to please some Jaguar customers, but reviews were mixed on our staff. Some of our crew felt the Sovereign lacked the instinctive feel of precise control we enjoyed in earlier XJ6 versions. You can't please everybody. But thanks to improvements and revisions, the XJ6 line will certainly appeal to a broader group of buyers than ever before. More importantly, it shows Jaguar's resolve to meet all the new competition head on.